The new iOS 26.1 is almost here and it is an amazing update. It brings a lot of changes and a lot of new features to iOS 26. We finally have some features we have been asking for for a really long time. So this will make a great update for iOS 26 users. So of course, once this update is out to the public, there will be a ton of people trying to install it. So in today's video, I will show you guys the proper way to actually install iOS 26.1 and the proper way to actually have your device prepared for the iOS 26.1 update. Now, before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are still not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel a lot. Now, first of all, we're talking about the size of the update. I don't know what there will be, how the size of the iOS 26.1, the public release will be, but according to these betas that I've been getting on my device is actually quite big. Every beta of iOS 26.1 from the one to the fourth beta have been quite big here. As you can see, 12.4 gigabytes in this case for the third beta. This is actually insane for a third beta and even the fourth has been quite big. So just know that you should have a lot of free storage if you want to update to iOS 26.1. So from what I have actually been seeing with these updates on iOS 26 since summer, since the release of the first beta at WWDC 2025, your device will require like the double of the size of the update, the double the storage, the free storage to actually be able to install the update. So if this update comes at around 10 to 12 gigs, of course, it will be different on different devices, then make sure that you have at least 20 gigabytes of free storage on your iPhone. Now, of course, there are a lot of things you can do. Of course, you will have a few suggestions right here. Of course, you don't want to delete any of your photos or videos just to install an update. You can always of course delete the recently album recently deleted album right there or or what you can do is take a look at this list right here and see which apps are taking more space on your iphone like the case here with some of these apps like snapchat right here as you can see the size of the app is 310 megabytes while the size of the documents and data is actually 11 gigabytes. Now, in the case that you don't have enough free storage to update, you can always delete one of these apps that has a lot of documents saved on your iPhone. That way, what you do is just free the storage for enough time to update your device. And then once the update is completed, you can go ahead and just reinstall the app and of course, this size of the documents and data will be quite small once you install it. It will pile up with time, but in the meantime, you have enough free storage to update your device. Now, another thing you must always do, I suggest you do it, even though I don't do it myself and probably a lot of users don't actually do it, is back up your device before updating. It is really, really important. Now, the process of updating the iPhone is very secure, it's very simple, and most of the time, like 99.9% .9 of the time, nothing will go wrong. You will just have a very smooth experience updating your iPhone. But just in case it happens to just go wrong, you need to have a backup of your data. Now, these days we have a ton of data on our iPhones, a lot of pictures, photos, really important information. So we, we want to have a backup of those data. So make sure you go to iCloud right here and back up your data or back it up on a computer. That way, if something goes wrong, you can always restore and have a backup of all the files that you already had on your device. Now, when it comes to updating, of course, the process is very simple. Everyone knows how to update iOS. You go to the general settings, software update there you go you will have here a button to tap update install and you're good to go but what if you're on the betas of ios 26.1 if you're on the rc or beta 4 in this case well you can do a few things here what i suggest you do if you're on the fourth beta you can update to the rc and that means that you already have the final release 
of iOS 26.1. You don't need to wait for the public release of iOS 26.1 because you already have that update on your device. It's the exact same update. And if something changes, then Apple will release an RC2. But usually that's the same, so you don't get any public release on your device because you have the RC installed and you're good to go. But if you just don't want to do it, if you're on beta 4, you don't want to update to the RC, you want to update to the public release of iOS 26, even though that's not necessary. Well, there is something you can do. You head on to the beta update section right here and just turn off uh, the betas. And then once iOS 26.1 is out to the public, you come back here, you refresh this page and you will get the update right here. Now, another thing when it comes to iOS 26.1, a lot of people that have older devices that support iOS 26 might be worried whether they should update or not. Well, of course, iOS 26.1 will support the exact same devices as iOS 26. And that won't change, of course, until iOS 27. It never happens that Apple will drop support on like the middle of a cycle of updates. So yes, your device will be supported and most likely you it won't be like worse than iOS 26 on your device. The performance on iOS 26.1 is really great. It shows in numbers on Geekbench, also in everyday use. So yes, if you have an older device, go ahead and update. You won't have a problem updating from iOS 26 to iOS 26.1. It's basically the same software. It won't slow down your device or drain your battery like more than iOS 26 already does. So when will iOS 26.1 be released and should you update or not? Well, we're all expecting iOS 26.1 to be released on November 3rd, this upcoming Monday. Now, according to history, that's what Apple does. They usually release the software, the bigger software releases on a Monday. And taking a look at the past years, how Apple has done things, late October to early November have been the dates that Apple releases the point one updates. So the 3rd of November most likely will be the day that Apple releases the new iOS 26.1. And should you update to this software? I think you should. It is a great update with a lot of new features and changes. You will probably get two to 3% better battery life with this than you're getting on iOS 26. And overall, the performance, the animations, everything is super smooth with the new iOS 26.1. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more iOS 26.1 videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one.